In this video, we're going to talk about data types and how to convert between data types. So we're going to still work with this data frame right here with just population data in it. The first thing I want to do is show you how to determine what type of data is a column. So for example, you can see these columns, we see them and we would probably assume that they're numbers. Even the year, we would probably assume it's a number. And then this, we would probably assume that it's text. But we can actually convert something that looks like a number to text or it could be Text could actually be a factor, which is basically a leveling of text. So what we can do is we can actually figure this out by using the class function. If you use class, and then we're going to pass in the specific column we want to call it on. So we're going to do that by calling the data frame name, which is DF, and then a dollar sign, and then the actual column. So you can see it auto populates for me here. So we're going to look at the country column and figure out what class it is. And we find out that it's a character class, which means it's just a string or a piece of text. Now, if we run the same thing on the F year, it's saying that it's an integer, which means it's a number that ends at the whole number. It's not a decimal place. And so one thing we can do is we can actually change this. Let's say we don't actually want it to use year as a number, but we actually want it to use it as like a string. So what we can actually do is say as character and then do the open and close parentheses. And then we're just going to put in that column name. So DF year again and press enter. So it's going to output out and you can see that it's just putting it out in these quotation marks here. That is how it's representing that this is a string. It's not a number. So now if we ask it for the class of DF year, it's saying it's an integer because we changed it, but we never actually changed it within the actual data frame. So if we want to actually change it within the data frame, we need to say that DF year is set to as dot character and then we're going to do df year again so what we're doing here is saying get the column year from the data frame df change everything within that column from whatever it is to a character and then save it as the column year in the data frame df and so if we press enter we see that this refresh for us and now if we get the class of df year, you can see it's now a character. So what if we want to do the reverse? We, it is now text. We want to go back to it being an integer. So all we have to do is set df year and set it to as.numeric. And that's what's going to change it to a number. And so all we do is put in df year again and press enter. It's going to reload, and then we can confirm we did this right with the class and just do df year. And you can see that it says it's numeric now. So in general, as long as it meets certain requirements, you can actually change it between a lot of different types. Now, what you will see is if we do something like, let's do as.character or as.numeric, and then we're going to do df country. So we know that countries are not numbers, right? These are definitely text. They're not numbers. If we run this, you can see we get an A's here. So this is one thing to be careful of is if you want to make sure that this is going to run, don't set it to df country because then you're going to lose all of that information. and You're going to have to re-import in your file. Because if you are setting something that cannot actually be converted, it will do the conversion, but you will just end up with a bunch of NAs and anything that can get converted will get converted. So that's a good thing to stay aware of. And you can see down here, it says warning message NAs introduced by coercion. And that essentially means it was not able to convert these two numbers. So it had to give it an NA instead. So these are things to especially be careful of. The last type I want to introduce you to is a factor. And so what this essentially does is it takes something like a string and actually gives it levels instead of it just being a string. So for example, if we were to take, we're going to do the class of DF year real quick. And you can see it's numeric. Okay. 
But what if we wanted it to be a character, but to still have the level? So like we want 1950 to be before 1951. We could say instead of it being numeric, which would also do that, we could say that we're actually going to set it to a factor. So we're going to do as dot factor df year. And so you can see that it still keeps all of the years, but you can see it here now says 72 levels and now all of the years are in a level. So 1950 is before 1951. So it keeps the ordering. Whereas if you just converted it to characters, it no longer has any ordering involved. So that's overall how to determine the type that you are working with, how to convert between types, and then even what some of the different types are.